Hey CWA family, today I'm going to show you how to personalize a blanket. Uh, this is for like Cricut newbies, like brand new to Cricut because this is a really simple project. So I got this fleece blanket from Walmart. Um, my daughter, she is starting pre-K and I just want to put her name on her blanket so um, nobody will be able to take her blanket. Um, this blanket was like, I think it was like $3 or some change. I know it was less than five dollars so i think but i do believe that it was like three dollars um so for this project you're gonna need your heat press you're gonna need the blanket you need some vinyl i am using some scrap white glitter vinyl this is why you save your scrap pieces because it comes in handy for times like this <laughs> and of course you're gonna need your cricket machine and if you use your phone or your laptop um for your um, Cricut Design Space, whatever you use to pull up Cricut Design Space. So the only thing I've done is I've just taken the um, wrapper off the blanket and um, I have my heat press set. It is uh, set to 325 degrees. And you know, we're only gonna press it for seven, uh, I'm not seven, I'm sorry, we're gonna press it for 15 seconds. So I'm laying my blanket on the heat press. I have a 15 by 15 clamshell heat press. Um, it is a fancier studio. If you want to grab you one, I will put that link down in the description. Um, here is, I just typed out the signing because that's my daughter's name. And I'm in Cricut Design Space. I'm pressing mirror because you want to make sure you always mirror your image no matter what kind of Im image it is. I'm sorry. Whenever you have, um, whenever you're using HTV. I have changed it to light cardstock because that's what I cut my glitter HTV on. As you can see, it shows on the um, Cricut Design Space that it's changed to light cardstock. I always like to verify because sometimes it takes a while. I don't know. But anyway, and I have my um, USB cord connected to my laptop. Now with some, uh, some of the Cricut machines, you can do it with Bluetooth. Mine, for some reason, it won't do Bluetooth. I don't know. But anyway, so I have my HTV press, uh, not press, laid flat down, face down. I'm sorry, y'all. Face down on my mat. Um, now, I am using a blue mat. I just use whatever mat that I have. But if you're going to use, um, the green mat is the one that you normally should use. I just use the blue mat. So as you can see, my arrow was blinking. blinking. I pressed the button to pull, so the machine can pull my mat in. And then I pressed the blinking button for it to go. So now my Cricut machine is cutting the name to Sunny out. Um, again, my um, vinyl is the shiny side down on the mat and I have my image mirror. So now that it, it's done cutting, I am pressing the blinking, um, what is that, an arrow? Blinking arrow again. And if you hold it up to the light, when you uh, cut on light cardstock, you can actually see your cut. So um, that's what I choose to cut mine on. It's up to you what you wanna cut yours on, but that's, my, that's what I choose to cut mine on. So I'm, I'm gonna cut off the excess because you never know, we might need the rest of that glitter vinyl another day. I always save my scraps. I don't care how small it is, I save my scraps because them scraps come in handy. I have been crafting for years and it comes in handy. So I'm cutting off the um, excess white that, that I don't need and I'm gonna put it in my scrap bin over there. Yes, yes I am, yes I am. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to say, you also need a weeding tool because you got to weed your vinyl. Now, when I weed my vinyl, I always weed from the corner and peel. I love Caesar Easy Weed Vinyl because it weeds like butter, baby. <laughs> so, as you can see, I'm weeding the vinyl. I started in the corner and I'm just uh, pulling it off super, super easy. And now I'm going to go in and take out the insides of the letters, like the A's, the D's, um, that S they had a little on there. So, I'm taking that off as well. And then we're going to trash that excess because we don't need that. Now, um, after, I've, after I've trashed that, then we're gonna press um, pre-press our blanket for about mm, five to 10 seconds. Now here, I think I pressed I pre-pressed it a little too long because it was six o'clock in the morning and I was trying to do her blanket and it, I was doing some other stuff, so it might've been a little bit longer than uh, supposed to be. So I'm just gonna putting it in the corner, not, not all the way down in the corner, but like, cornered so when she's laying on her blanket you can see her name you know be cute like up oh, my daughter got her name on her blanket <laughs> so i'm just landing where i wanted on the blanket and then i'm um pulling my heat press down so like i said i have the heat press set to 325 degrees we're gonna press for 15 seconds so once we're done um pressing it we're gonna pull that heat press up and again i think i walked off <laughs> I walked off because I was doing something else. Um, you know, in the morning time, might be everywhere. 
So once you're done pressing, you're gonna uh, pull it up and then you're just gonna take the uh, plastic off. When I tell you with easy weed, you don't have to worry about that vinyl coming up. It comes, it just, the plastic just comes right off so, so easy. Yes, it's such an easy project. I turned my heat press off. Sorry about my arm being in the um, camera. So this is how it looks and it is white glitter vinyl. It's the Caesar Easy Weed um, white glitter vinyl. Isn't it cute? Cute and simple. That's why I said this is gonna be a quick, simple, easy project. So that's how the blanket looks. If you have any questions, feel free to ask your questions. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. If I need to make a video, I will do that. But um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and have an absolutely amazing day.